What's up guys, my name is Flaming Ice and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy 2. Let's get back into this. You know, I feel like at some point in my life I'm gonna have like a self-actualization moment and I'm gonna look back on my channel and all the things that I've done and I'm going to wish I never did them. It's gonna be like, uh, how could I have been this cringe? Why did I waste so many hours of my life on this? And that day of reckoning will come someday, but in the meantime, let's get back into Bowser Jr.'s Boom Bunker, Boomsday Machine, Metro Boomin' Make It a Boom. This one's actually a pretty fun one from what I remember. Now that we're past that third one, which was by far the most interesting, but also the most annoying of all of them. How are you doing, Toad? Some inf pertinent information for me? I sense danger! No shit. Okay, this guy... Who are these people? Don't worry, it's broken! Wow, this guy. Ooh, need to probably go all the way over here. Oh, where did the bullet go? And... Oh man, are you kidding me? Darn. I guess gotta trust that the bullet's behind me, I guess. Oh, wait a second, I just realized that this is the, the fucking thing from the last Bowser Jr. fight. How did I not see that? That's crazy. That's actually fucking hell. <sighs> How did it end up here? It's, it's a good question, though. Let's do this actually for real now. Alright, here we go. Bam. Oh dear, aiming is going to be quite the challenge as it always is. Come on! Hit the bullseye! Barely hit that, that's crazy. Oh! Don't even think about it, boomerang bro. Get your ass out of here. Owned. Just that shrimple. I believe, if I remember correctly, there's a six health thing right here. No, I remembered wrong. Wow. Really having. Maybe it's over here. I mean, come on. How could I be wrong twice? Ain't no way. There it is! Freaking knew it. It was, uh, now decade plus old memories are still there. It's gotta be like 15 years now, I think. I mean, 2009, right? 2009 to 23 is 14. Nearly, nearly 15 years. This again. Come on, hit the thing! If you miss Mario, I don't know what to tell you. Alright, we made it. Surprisingly, honestly, I am shocked. I am just flabbergasted. How do I get over there? Okay, there we go. Cloud power up. I'm gonna grab some of that good old stuff. A nice, sick little ground pound right there. And now we're in the... Already in the next part of the stage. Bowser Jr., here we come. Huge ass tower. <laughs> you know, now that I'm thinking about it, they totally just recycled this boss fight in Mario Odyssey. My dad's gonna get angry if I let you get another grand star. Time to break out my boomsday machine. I'll just relax in my comfy cock pit and watch you go boom. All right, we call that sounding here. That's the medical term for cock. I mean, yeah, this this fight was totally recycled by, um, oops, where am I going? Oop, trying to do a bit of a backflip here. Alright, ground pound, and bam. What the f- the cloud is not working! Alright, you just gotta make it here. So we just gotta make it here. Yeah, start panicking. L. L 
Metal Mans. And this is a pretty cool boss fight for what it's worth, though. But this was totally reused in Mario Odyssey. I don't know if I said that or not, if I just keep forgetting to finish my sentences like an Alzheimer's patient. Okay, so you gotta avoid the electricity, you know. And bam. Just like that. The final tower. Oh yeah, now it moves. Huh. So it actually is just straight up like Mario Odyssey. Oops. Oops, did not mean to do that. Now I'm on top of the machine. Come on, Mario, just grab the thing. And you're done. There we go. It was just that easy. He is cooked. That sound effect really miss, was made well used by Nintendo. There's our Grand Star. Honestly, a very easy fight. No resistance whatsoever from Mr. Junior. And now we get to move on to the final world, World 6. And as is typical Mario fashion, <coughs> I think that's where we cut off the series. No way in hell am I doing 100% completion in this game. You know how many stars there are? I think it's not only just is there 120 or something like that, there's all the prankster comments, right? And then on top of that, there's an entire post game where you can now play as Luigi. And that's literally new stars for every location again, so that doubles the number of stars in the game. And then you have the final Rosalina world. It's cool and all, but doesn't exactly make for entertaining uh, content. Not like this was ever really that entertaining anyways. The big fight awaits. Indeed it does. Now was it just me? Did that sound like the loud... I feel like I can't say the word, but you know the guy that goes... You know what I'm talking about. Top 10. Top 10 is one of the coolest galaxies in the game. Up there's got to be Flaming Ice Galaxy because of course, I feel like everyone's kind of cramping on my style right now. Like I've had this thing going since 2014, I believe, and now everyone wants to take a nice little cut of the pie of the whole Flaming Ice dynamic. Not this game, the new Pixar movie coming out with Fire Boy and Water Girl or whatever. I'm pretty sure that game is, it may not actually be, no. I think the Fire Boy and Water Girl game is actually older than my channel, but not by much. Oh boy, we're doing this again. Alright, bam. Pro skill right there. And, well now what do I do? I think I gotta do this that slingshot thing. What, what am I supposed to do here? Oops. Am I just screwed now? <sighs> I gotta keep that momentum going. Never mind. Maybe this galaxy is not as cool as I remember it being. And now this should go. What the fuck? That should have <coughs> been enough to send me over. Come on! There we go. That took way too long. Nearly dodged that guy too. <sighs> For undisclosed reasons, it's rather difficult. Bruh. <laughs> really got sniped there. It's rather difficult to use the reticle. Let's just say that. This time, I'll wait out the glomp of fire. I don't know why, of all things, they chose to depersonalize my boy, the the uh, fireball. He used to have a cool little set of eyes and everything in every other game, but in this game, he's just a ball of lava. I, I don't understand. This is kind of straightforward, not gonna lie. Of course, uh, you know... 
game is made for kids, so dodging the ragu is not the hardest thing in the world. It shouldn't be. It's crazy how much uh, graphics have come so far in the last, well, forever. 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. It's crazy how they just keep on improving. Like, logically, you know, uh, what's his face is law, Moore's law, or whatever, about computer power doubling, or ex uh, doubling every year. Come on, Mario, please. Doubling every year or something. That isn't, I mean, that makes sense. But at the same time, like, you know, where's entropy? Surely at some point there's gotta be like a, a hard limit to how good computers can get and how good, by proxy, graphics can get. What? I totally hit that! This is some bullshit of the highest order. Alright, here we go. I think we might have missed the Comet Medal or whatever. Uh, it should have probably showed up by now. It's, it still hasn't, which is interesting. I think it was probably... Oh no, there it is. Never mind. It's gonna say something about how it's like usually in a certain area. You know, if these things are so hot, how is Mario able to step on them? It makes you think. This is a really easy one. That wasn't even, even like threatened by melty monsters or whatever. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, whenever I see these, I think of uh, pizza burning the roof of my mouth. Oop. Let's be smart. What the f Okay. Just gotta hit it three times. Oop. Got greedy there, but I saved it. And now where is this going? Over there. I see the final challenge. Well, actually, can I, can I jump to this over here? What the fuck are you doing, Mario? Please! There we go. All was in, in a day's work. Man, this entire galaxy is what the East Coast be looking like for real right now. With all this Canada wildfire smoke, it looks exactly like this outside. A little alarming, you know. Maybe we'll do something about that in the future when it's too late. Like trees, for example, the next stage. Just plant another three trees and I'm sure it'll all be solved. Got two gamblers in the casino now. Two dealers for me to gamble away my funds on. But I ain't stupid. Why would I do that? You know, I do feel kind of bad about not getting that uh, hungry Luma fed, you know? It's, they're like hobos. And they're gonna starve and die if I don't give them the star bits that they need. There ain't no snap for them. Doesn't seem like there's really a jobs program at all in this universe, but uh, surely they need to be fed well. And uh, of course, by fed well, I mean overfed to the point where they explode and give me a new nice place to explore. I believe that's the, uh, is his name Buzzard or Blizzard or something like that? It's a stage there, which could be fun. Could be muy, muy fun. Yes. Sorry, Luigi, you failed me last time. I can't, can't support you no more. It ain't Luigi Tuesdays. It's a uh, Waluigi Wednesday, or as Nintendo calls it. Uh, can I even say that? I mean, they said it, so surely I should be able to say it, right? Well, we'll say what. What they intended to say, which was Wiggler Wednesday on their Twitter. Yeah, Wiggler. There might be one in the stage, actually. Come on, hit the block. There we go. That was weirdly satisfying right there. I have fond memories of this stupid coin collection collecting star on this stage where you have to collect a certain number of coins in a limited oh, time frame. Man, was that torture. It's like 50 purple coins or something like that with Luigi. 
what was Blood thinking when he made that star. Sometimes the gravity is just not on your side in this game. Actually, I totally forgot. I should totally do the other stuff. Okay, enough of this. You'd think after six stars, I'd know about, uh, you know, how the game works. A stroll down rolling lane. Oh, this is not the star I was thinking of. I was thinking of the uh, other dude star. You know, surprisingly, doesn't that mean that, like, the majority of stars in this game have nothing to do with melty monsters at all? Like, that was that was one star in the game had to do with melty monsters. The rest are all rock-related. Kind of messed up, if you ask me. Also, neat little fact, I'm pretty sure this exact background was used in a Super Mario 3D Land level released in 2011 for the Nintendo 3DS. 8 2, I want to say. I remember this one giving me tons of trouble way back when. You know, oh, bruh. I was gonna say, what's the appeal in playing a game you've already played before? But. We have to get all of the Mario games done on this channel. That's a campaign promise right there. You vo voted for this. And I intend to make good on that promise. How do I jump? I believe it's A. That worked. Cool. Bam. This requires just complete and utter focus. Plays kind of like Super Monkey Ball for wondering, but better than the uh, better than the uh, oh cat dog. It's gonna say better than uh, the rolling one. You know where you like motion controls on a ball. That one sucks so bad. It honestly makes you wonder why they didn't replace all of those, like, rolling on the star stars with this. Because this is, like, infinitely better to control. Wow. Really threading the needle there. Bro, no! This is hard. It's hard, I'm telling you. Wait, hang on. This is a perfect place to farm some star bits for that other stage. At least I thought so. The momentum on this thing is a little funky. It's like sometimes he turns about really quickly and other times he does not turn at all. It's not consistent. It's like you expect a little bit of slipperiness with the rock, but it's just not there sometimes. Like especially when he's straightening out. It's very it's a very unique feeling. Maybe if I don't hold the forward button, it's a lot better. That might actually be the case. I think it is. Yeah, I just gotta stop holding the forward button. No! Where are you going, Mario? <sighs> I just don't have the movement. Instead, I'm gonna try this. I mean, we may as well, right? I think I need a break from the other one, and probably some practice rolling on these guys. Sure, let's do it! So, this guy's high scores are his. So, which makes you wonder. Just makes you wonder. Are you kidding me, man? Okay, so this is just like Wii Bowling, basically. 
to just be smart about it. Wait, can't I just control the thing? Yeah, I totally can just control the thing. Oh my goodness, this is actually not that hard then. I'm gonna come at it straight, right? Bam. Pretty straightforward. Jump with A. I know that, man. Have we not used the rock power up before that? I feel like, I feel like we did. Or the Rockadillo or whatever his name was. There we go. I think we're doing pretty, pretty good so far. Only missed... What's happening? Stick Drift. Good that there's no time limit either. And this is just a... Oops. I mean, I got most of them. But still, that, that kind of sucks. Bam. Gotta account for all the extra time that it takes for Mario to do a stupid roll animation. There we go. Another clean triple. I think that's a turkey strike right there. It's kind of messed up that these dudes are, are like literally alive right now. And I'm kind of murdering them all. In the worst way imaginable. Road roller style. Jojo reference? But yes. Oh, barely got 5,000. I'm just that good. I'm just that good. God, acknowledge he's my greatest rival. Is this his last challenge? It might be his very last challenge outside of the bonus levels. That's crazy. Well, it was a nice journey with the chimp while it lasted. It's crazy just how good this game is. Like, games these days, they cost nearly $20 more than this game costed when it came out, and yet, still, somehow, they have like one-fourth the content. Like, there's so much to do in this game. So many unique assets and universes. Like, literally every stage is different. And there's only three stars per stage, and yet, they make it so fun. Well, mostly fun. I mean, like, what happened to gaming? That we, we just, like, settle for mobile game Fortnite tier trash. Even from any any studio, Nintendo, Sony, Xbox. When was the last time a good game was made? That wasn't like an indie game. I guess some people will say Tears of the Kingdom. But let's be real, that's just Breath of the Wild with a little bit of DLC added to it. Sure, I mean, they, they tripled the space, but see, that's what this game feels like. This game feels like if Breath of the Wild was Tears of the Kingdom. To be fair though, this game is kind of like the Tears of the Kingdom to Super Mario Galaxy 1, now that I think about it. But even that game was pretty expansive. Now that I think about it, that is a really strong analogy. <laughs> wow. I not, did not think about that at all, that there was, this game's actually the sequel, so they probably had more time to work on things because they didn't have to design the engine or like half the assets because they're all reused anyways. No, Mario! Come on! Bam! There we go. Oh my goodness. You know how long I spent on this? Way too long. I mean, what happened was I said I would just continue until I got a game over, but... I kept on getting lives and two lives per session, or one life at least per session, so it would never game over. But it's been done now. It's all over. So I decided to take a bit of a break before coming back to this thing. But anyways, I'm back, and by a little bit of a break, I mean a couple of days have passed. I mean, I just got so tired after grinding out that bowling thing for so long that I was like, screw it, I, I just want out, you know? And so, here I am. You know, I'm surprised no one's ever made like a, in this universe, I mean, a coin to star bit conversion. Like, we know that 100 coins gives you one life, that's obviously true, but 50, was it, I think 100 star bits also gives you one life. So like, 
you know, there should be a one-to-one -one conversion ratio if they have equal monetary value. I mean, we assume that a life has the same value. It wouldn't make sense that one thing costs one amount of currency and the other costs another amount of currency unless you're working with different purchasing power parities. So that wouldn't make sense because it seems everyone here both uses coins and star bits as a currency. Unless, now hear my economic theory out, there are less things you can purchase with star bits or with coins than there are with star bits, which is why coins or star bits within with coins. Something like that. Basically, one is more used than the other, and therefore, therefore, the star bits are less valuable than coins. At least I'm pretty sure they are. So you gotta do a little bit of uh, game theoring every now and then to break up the monotony, you know. Otherwise, what are we gonna talk about? My Goopa, get the fuck out of here. I don't know that Goobas have a weird blue glow on their model. That will make no sense. Why are they glowing blue? There's no blue light. It's part of the their design, I guess. I completely forgot we made it this far into the level. Otherwise, I would have just cut the dialogue to right here. I think all it, all this is is really a game of patience. What? The? That was another classic uh, stick drift moment right there. Darn. I mean, there's got to be a challenge added to the game somehow, right? So, that's what it is, a hardware challenge. These, uh, real gamers can play with just, uh, uh, one of those rock candy Wii remotes, you know? So, who am I to uh, Mario, please. Sometimes he just gets stuck facing one direction for some reason. It doesn't even make sense. Like, this guy can jump 50 feet in the air. He can fly and do all sorts of acrobatics, but he can't use his moment of inertia to turn around? Like, come on, man. That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, okay, barely clutched that. Right, hopefully there's a place that lands here. Got very lucky there. Actually, I need to get on top of one of those, don't I? To get that star medal. I mean, I don't really need the star medal, because it's not like I'm even 100%ing the level, but I guess it's just fun to get. It's not even on this one. Great. It's on the next one. I mean, really, the only thing motivating me is I think, to date, we've gotten every single star medal. Which is pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. How are you supposed to get that? What? How did you turn that way, Mario? How? I think I just gotta get on it here. That, I think, is the strategy right there. What the heck? Are you freaking serious right now? I definitely did a backflip there. Alright, hopefully now... Are you serious? What was that? Finally. Fucking finally. Oh my goodness. I am actually about to lose my mind how stupid these controls are. How stupid my controller is. I know, I know. Excuses, right? No, not excuses. It's genuinely this ass. Okay, we learned the controls, how to do that now. Now onto this part. And now it's the harder challenge. Damn, Tiki there too. Okay, what is going on here? Mario, please cooperate with me. Please cooperate. That's all I'm asking. Just do as I command you to. You know, when I when I asked you to uh, go left, go left. When I asked you to stop going left, stop going left. It's really not that hard of a concept to grasp. But somehow, we're in this predicament where we are right now. I can actually feel the rubber cap peeling off onto my finger right now. It's, there's literally black grease marks from the rubber or whatever. Probably some carcinogenic cancerous chemical rubbing into my thumb right now. Do I even want to check this pipe? <sighs> What's the worst that could happen? Right? What's the worst that could happen? Right, unfortunately, it's just one of these stupid challenges that there's no chance I'm going to complete in time. I don't mean to be so negative, but... Man, does this, this stage in particular just 
get on my nerves. It's ugly. It's stupid. It's just everything you don't want on the stage. Perhaps under better circumstances, I might like this stage more. I mean, it's no water level at least. Wow, pro skill right there. All skill. Alright, I see. There's the star. And what's gonna happen here? Alright, let's be smart. Okay, fortunately, we have experience dealing with all sorts of bullshit as of late. So this is not so bad. Oh, never mind. Never fucking mind. Where am I going? Where am I going? I hope there was another checkpoint at some point, because that's gonna suck if it to start from here again. Great. So I got the question, Nintendo game designers. Why did you think it was necessary to add that gate part at the end of the level? Or not gate, whatever you call those fence pole looking things. Oops, I keep forgetting for some reason when you spin, it just prevents you from ever doing anything ever again. Really love that limitation to my mobility. Why would you add this pole segment to the game and then you literally only use it for that little bit to the star? Then you realize that it was so ham fisted you created this arbitrary bullshit segment earlier with a one coin in it to show how the mechanic worked. Couldn't you have tried to, I don't know, incorporate it into the level? Just a thought right there. I mean, you did it with these stupid cog things. See, the problem is that Mario's gravity doesn't adjust for some reason in time for me to become vertical to do a jump on the thing. Please. Why did he do a fucking long jump instead of a backflip? Like I specifically requested, I don't know, it seems like I press Z and then A first, Mario. Hopefully I won't get cupped yet again by the idiotic stick drift. Okay, there we go. Finally, it is over. It is all done with. And I can go wash my Polymer Latin thumbs right now. Oh my, this is actually disgusting how black my fingers become. That's kind of scary. I look like an 1800s child laborer in the mines. A minor miner, if you will. But anyways, I think that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video, please do a thumbs up. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.